Hello all. In this video, we will see how to test GPS board and then extract uh, latitude longitude coordinates and send it through GSM as uh, Google Maps SMS so that it can be the location can be viewed on the mobile itself. And different types of uh, GPS boards are available in the market. Uh, this is a simple uh, TTL GPS board with ceramic antenna. The GPS engine chip is uh, on board and 3.3 uh, volt regulator and the level shifters are there. The next one is the Neo 6M GPS. Uh, this is also uh, with the internal antenna that is ceramic antenna is connected. This is made of uh, U-blocks and a very re a reliable one. The third one is uh, also U-blocks GPS with the external antenna. We will be using this type of uh, GPS board in this project. It has got 3.3 volt uh, onboard regulator and RS232 chip. This board can work on uh, 5 volt as well as 3.3 volt. As it requires uh, small current, uh, we can power it up from the Arduino itself. The external antenna used here is a magnetic type external antenna so that we can test it uh, sitting indoors. For testing the GPS board, uh, we require a USB to TTL board, but you can use your Arduino Uno with a small hack. Connect the RST pin of Arduino Uno to ground. This will bypass the big IC that is a bootloader IC and then uh, the serial communication IC that is a small SMD IC near the USB socket is used. Uh, connect the power supply 5 volt to 5 volt and then uh, ground to ground of uh, uh, GPS board and the Arduino. We will be using only the uh, single wire, the TX wire and TX is connected to TX of Arduino. Note the straight connection here and it is not reverse. Once you bypass the boot loader, the connection should be TX to TX and not reverse. It is a straight connection. Now connect the USB of the Arduino to uh, PC and note on the uh, COM port allotted inside the device manager. Open the Arduino IDE and select the uh, proper port and then the board as Arduino you know. Now click on the serial monitor. You can see the NMEA sentences flowing in. These NMEA sentences uh, contain all the details, latitude, longitude. Uh, time and other details. There are different types of uh, NMEA sentences of which uh, GP RMC is of interest. In the GP RMC, the first uh, data is latitude and then there is a A or V. If it is V, then it means void, that is, uh, GPS has got no fix and uh, that uh, data will not be complete. Once the V changes to A, then all uh, data you will get, latitude, longitude and all other data you will get. This is called the G fix of GPS. It takes some time and if it is external antenna, you will get immediately. And there is a separate LED on uh, all types of uh, GPS boards which indicates the GPS fix. Once the GPS got the fix, the LED will blink and the NMEA sentence will be complete uh, once the V changes to A. The GPRMC is recommended minimum specific GPS data and contains latitude and then A, a or V that is a navigation receiver warning. A means OK and V means void that is no fix and then the longitude, speed over ground, date and time of fix and all other data. This data can be parsed just by counting the number of commas. For this, the separate libraries are used, which makes uh, life easier. For now, just select a portion of the NMEA sentences and then copy it. Copy a portion of the NMEA sentences and paste it onto a notepad. Save it as a text file. I am saving it as gprs.txt and then google for gps visualizer. This website provides the real time position. So go to gps visualizer 
and then uh, browse to the location of the text file uh, we stored now gprs.txt select the output format as uh, google maps and then click on map it you will get your exact location now this can be used for uh, real time view viewing also the exact location within uh, 10 meters distance is uh, shown now let us use the uh, tiny gps plus plus library with arduino download the tiny gps plus plus library from arduino website download uh, the latest uh, version uh, the source code of the latest version download the zip file and then unzip it rename the file to tiny gps plus plus tiny gps plus and then copy the folder and paste it to c program files Arduino, and under libraries you can also install the library uh, from the uh, directly from the zip folder that is uh, under sketch include library and then manage add zip library you can install the uh, library once the library is installed restart the Arduino IDE and under file examples you can see against uh, tiny GPS plus plus some sample codes that comes along with the library installed you select the full example code in this example code you can see the uh, header file is include tiny GPS plus uh, header file is include and then a software serial header file is also used here uh, rx pin is declared as 4 and tx pin is declared as 3 as only a tx of gps is used you connect the tx of gps to pin 4 of arduino only one wire is uh, required other wire is ground uh, the tx of gps is connected to pin 4 of arduino now upload the code and then open the serial monitor Initially, you may see uh, empty uh, data. The reason is the GPS board is not uh, set correctly. In the code, the, by default, the uh, GPS board is 4800. You just change it to 9600. It is not the serial dot uh, begin. It is GPS board. Change it to 9600 and then upload the code. Now you can see the complete result with the latitude, longitude, speed over ground, date and time of fix and all complete data is displayed. This is using tiny GPS plus plus library. Now let us see a real time example of collecting coordinates and then transmitting it using SMS by GSM. In this example, we will be using tiny GPS library and not the GPS++. This is a simple library, tiny GPS. Uh, download the tiny D GPS library and then unzip the folder. Rename it to tiny GPS and then copy the folder and paste it to see uh, program files, Arduino and under libraries. You can also install the library uh, using uh, the other method sketch include library and add zip uh, library. Once the library is installed, uh, restart your Arduino IDE and under file examples against tiny GPS you can see some example codes. Already we have installed tiny GPS plus uh, plus. Newly we have installed tiny GPS. Now let us see the connection between uh, GPS, GSM and then Arduino. The GPS used here is uh, external antenna type. Uh, the 5 volt, uh, we uh, get the supply from the Arduino itself as the GPS takes only a minimum current. 
uh, you connect the 5 volt of uh, GPS to Arduino 5 volt and ground to ground and TX of uh, uh, GPS goes to RX of Arduino we will be using only one wire that is TX of GPS goes to RX of uh, Arduino here we use the hardware serial so while uploading the code you have to remove the, uh, this wire and then upload the code for GSM we will be using the soft serial so RX of uh, GSM goes to pin 8 of Arduino which is soft serial TX and then GSM TX goes to pin 7 which is the RX soft serial ground is connected common and the GSM requires an uh, external adapter 12 volt 1 amps provide the power supply and then uh, notice the LEDs these two LEDs on GPS you have to uh, uh, get the fix and then this fix LED will glow and on GSM the network LED should glow slowly that is uh, once per second once it gets network uh, uh, it will blink slowly these two LEDs you have to watch now let us see the code uh, to be uploaded tinygps.h header file is used and the software serial header file is also used the software serial is used for GSM and pin 7 and 8 are uh, declared as RX and TX and the char variable is used to store the phone number at uh, uh, tinygps uh, object gps is created and under void uh, begin we start the serial dot begin 9600 and then the gps dot begin at 9600 and a void loop we wait for the data to flow and when the serial data is available we assign it to uh, char variable uh, c and then we uh, print the data serial dot print if the new data variable is true then we pass the uh, latitude and longitude data using the function f get position of gps and then we use this latitude longitude data to assemble a message that is uh, uh, maps.google.com we append this latitude and longitude data and then form a message and then send as sms to the phone number uh, that is uh, assigned to the variable we send this sms every 20 seconds this code can be modified so that uh, uh, whenever a call is made the sms is sent in this code we are uh, sending data every 20 seconds Now the setup is ready, uh, open the uh, message uh, on mobile and wait for the message. Now the message is received with uh, maps.google.com uh, latitude and longitude uh, appended. Just touch on this uh, message, Google Maps will uh, display your uh, current location. So every 20 seconds you will be receiving a message. As the latitude and longitude are appended, you will get the, uh, directly the location. Thank you for watching.